the top, sick of shots of a drone. I will never stop till the road is my home. I'm about to pop, everybody's gonna know. When the beat drops, they be yelling, be ho. Hey guys, Cooley here, and wow, did you guys really enjoy that new intro? I hope you did. If not, then we'll stick to the other one. But for now, I want to see if you guys would like that new intro. I'm trying to decide on new intros for the channel, because, you know, brand new year for the channel, so I figured, why not? But anyway, you're on here to talk about with me about my new intro, or possible intro. Who knows, if you guys like it or not. I'm here to tell you a new segment I'm going to do right now, and it's with this video. Now this video, you're not even going to see hear any gameplay or anything like that, just me talking. So, a lot of you have told me that you seem to like my story time segments. So, something called story time with Cooler, if I'm correct. Now this is, um, this is a little test video to see if you guys would like it. So, I want to tell you guys a story. Yep, story time with Cooler now. But this time it's going to be an actual video, so the story will last. That's the point of this. So... I want to tell you guys a story that hasn't been told in any of the streams. Today, you guys, I'm going to tell you about the story about the time I met Ryan Burke. Yes, I want to tell you about the guy who created, who helped create Dole, the uh, Department of Law Enforcement, the roleplay community that I was a part of for some time now, but is shut down due to uh, personal reasons that I'm not allowed to discuss. But I digress. I'm going to tell you guys the story about how Ryan and I met and how we became good friends. So, this is what happened. I was just, you know, minding my own business during a stream, you know, just doing solo play on GTA 5. All of a sudden, uh, someone comes into my stream. I welcome them, of course. And then Ryan himself texted in the chat that he wanted me to check out his roleplay community. And I figured, because, you know, I'm a lone guy when it comes to streams or just have a few friends here and there for streams. So I figured, you know what, why not? Let's look into it. So the next time I, I actually looked into the, um, the, I looked into Ryan's channel. Sorry if I'm stuttering here. I looked into Ryan's channel. Sure enough, he was streaming the next time I checked. Because I didn't check it immediately. I, uh, I think it was, I don't know what time was it, but I had something to do later that day either way. So the very next day or something like that, I don't remember exactly, but I know I checked one day on Ryan's channel about the, Roleplay community he offered me to be a part of and try out for. So, he was streaming, so I'm like, huh, I wonder what he's all about. So, I jump into his chat. I texted, hey, uh, I, you came into my stream and um, you said you want me to check out your Roleplay community, so let's hear it. So, Ryan begins to tell me and everyone in the chat about how Dole works, it's a Roleplay community for basically with cops and and sieves and whatnot, basically like real life kind um, what, from what I was told. I'm thinking, hey, you know, I've never done anything like that before, so why don't we just jump into it? I figured, why not? So he sent the link to the um, applications. I clicked it immediately, filled out everything, looked at all the stuff, like all the rules and such. I'm thinking, you know, I'm young. I don't get to do stuff a lot. You only get to do stuff like this at least once in life, or because you know, or other people who jump from community to community after each other shuts down, or they just need to grow out of it. So I chose to try out for, um, for the community. So, yeah, I think later that week that I signed up, or oh, sorry, applied to for Dole, um, I talked to Ryan again. Uh, Discord. I don't use Discord a lot for many things except when I talk to a few friends who are outside the outside the country because uh, apparently i'm friends with a lot of like friends of who are not in in cal in california or america in general but um i talked to ryan again in discord we, you know we chatted you know i asked him all these questions and ryan's like yeah yeah yeah, and all this and that blah 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 and uh, we jump i jump on ps4 ryan gives us the details and whatnot and i'll admit i kind of messed up here and there, you know, just a small little, um, little instances, instances, I'm, that's not a word, whatever, so, either way, I decided that, I tried to do my best to, um, do the patrols, because, you know, I'm a cadet, I was a cadet, sorry, as a cadet, I was supposed to, you know, just do casual driving, you know, drive slowly, <laughs> look both ways, all that, uh, 
and then I had the uh, the call sign, the call number. Uh, what were they called again? Um, ten codes. Yeah, there we go. Ten codes. Sorry, if I messed up here. Uh, ten codes, and then all that. I had Discord on my laptop. I think no, that was the laptop. Is my phone and ten codes on my laptop. So you know, I'm you know just you know doing my thing as as a cop. You know, just call um, call this or call that. Stop a few people. Do my best to impersonate an officer. I guess. And um, yeah, I went to uh, and then after that the tryout was over and the next tryout was the next day. Yeah, I think that they do like daily tryouts and see if they'll get into community. Went on day two, I think after day two I got in. I guess they he uh, Ryan expressed some minor things that we have done that we weren't supposed to do. I talked to Ryan. I'm like, hey, you know, I'm new to that. I'm, I'm kind of new to the whole cop roleplay. I mean, I've done role plays before on my own time, you know, just for shits and giggles with friends. But um, yeah, I'm like, he's like, oh no, I'm like, he's like, oh yeah, um, you're you're doing great. I mean, I'm surprised you've never done this before. I'm like, ah oh, yeah, you know, you know, uh, I get around. So I make it to the tryout, second tryouts. I think I got in after. I think it was day two or day three. I'm not really 100 percent sure. Ryan, if you're watching this, can you help me out here? Well, which which day was it that I got in? But I digress. I got into the community, and it was a blast. I have to say, getting to know every single uh, person in Dole, you know, like personally, like on a personal level. Um, besides, you know, cause I thought, you know, for a second, you know, I thought it was one of those communities where, like, oh, you know, we're gonna be on the side of the screen. We're not really gonna talk a lot. We're just gonna do the role plays, record here and there. Uh, but no, everyone was actually uh, pretty talkative, and you know, like just getting to know one another like on a personal level and i i began to like i'm at first because you know i'm not the kind of person to like interact with people a lot because i'm not i'm anti-social like dangerously anti-social like i'm i'm like if you stick me in a room with like 10 other people that i don't know i'm just gonna hide in my little corner and play on my phone <laughs> but anyway uh ryan Ryan didn't seem like that kind of guy for me to feel uncomfortable with, so I talked to him because you know he's my age. You know, I know I don't meet a lot of people who are online who are my age. I talked to a few people who are a few younglings, I should, I should say, and uh, give them my wisdom <laughs> or some I don't know. But anyway, I've gotten to know Ryan. Like he's such a great dude. He's um uh, he's helped me come out of my shell along with Troy, Trent, Alex, even Darkmere. Shout out by the way to Darkmere, who uh, yeah. Yeah, um, Dark Mirror sadly left though, but that's he he went it's it's on good terms of course. But then no, back to Ryan. Ryan, a uh, great dude. We talked a lot, even inside of Dole and outside of Dole, and you know I asked him all these questions. He helped me out, and on the months and days that passed, days and months I should say, not in that specific order, um, I got promoted here and there, you know. Um, and then I got, and then like I, Ryan gave me the permission to, uh, to. Well, I'm, I don't know if it's permission. I, I can't really think of the right word to say it. So basically, I uh, he streams. He, he used to stream uh, GTA Online adventures and whatnot. And uh, it was just mainly him, Alex, Troy, or Trent. Never me. I mean, I, I I'm not saying that I was never invited. It's just that it just became that small group. However, uh, I've gotten to know Ryan so much that I I slowly got into that group and became like. Just became part a part of that little circle, and eventually, after a few recording sessions with Ryan, he tells me that I uh, am invited to be a part of RGD Gaming, which is basically that circle that they had. And I'm all like, "Wow, me? I mean, I I'm I'm not that special. I mean, but I mean, it's not, and you know." And he's like, "Ryan's like, oh, I really like recording with you. You're funny. You're a chill, dude. So I figured, why not? I mean, like, you're I really like." Uh, I really like you. <laughs> I don't know exactly Ryan's words, but it's around that. Like, see, I'm not good with memory. However, the story-wise, I know. After that, being a part of RGD Gaming, like, streaming with Ryan and all that, it was such good fun. And literally, though, I would love to meet Ryan in real life if I had the money to fly out. But I don't, sadly. Even though Ryan, like, falsely promised me to go to, to LA. And yes, Ryan, you did say that. If you're watching this, I know you. Fucking tricked me and shit. Anyway, Ryan and I are still good friends today. Till this day, I don't remember how long we've been friends for. Like, I'm gonna say a year. I, I honestly have no idea. It's been so long. It feels like I've known Ryan for s God. Again, I have no idea. It, it felt feels like forever. But uh, yeah, no. 
I knew that if I ever had a problem with, pers with my family and such, I knew I could go to Ryan if, uh, you know, if something happened. Because I know that uh, he would be there for me if I ever felt down and such. And, you know, it's nice to talk to Ryan when we're not streaming or, like, or doing dual business or doing dual business that when dual was still available. But yeah, it was great. It was it's great knowing Ryan and uh it, it's getting even better. Like one of these days, I swear, one of these days Ryan, I'm going to fly out to where you are and I'm going to well, well, well that sounds weird the way I say it. I was like I'm gonna, I'm going to go I'm going to kidnap you or some shit. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. Uh but yeah, no, I would love to fly out, you know, go to Ryan, shake his hand for being such a great friend. Go to the bar, get some drinks, and yeah. And also meet Troy, Alex, and the others. Well, you know, Alex lives in, like, what? I don't remember where he lives at. And fucking Trent, you know. Trent is MIA at the moment, so who knows where he is. But that's that's it, you guys. Uh, Ryan, you have been a great friend to me, and I hope we continue to be good friends. And I hope one day we meet face-to-face, -face and we just hang out and chill. But until then, you guys, that is the uh, that is the story with me and Ryan. Currently, we are still talking. We always do. We always do talk on Discord and whatnot, and you know, we just talk about practically anything, honestly. We play it. We actually Ryan was in the recent compilation, if you guys saw, and uh, he decided, hey, you know what? Let's just play. You know, like old, for old times. Will ever Ryan will ever go to online adventures again? Probably not, because, you know, Ryan's working now. We're all working these days, so none of us have a nice time for video games, except myself. Because I work here and there sometimes. My schedule is weird, okay? So I have, like, free time here, but next time I don't. But that's it, you guys. But that's going to do it for the story, you guys. That is a story between me and Ryan's friendship. And I hope and it's gonna and I hope it grows more. I have other stories for um, other things, like in situations I've been when I was a kid or things happened in middle school. Or even previous stories you guys have probably heard and would like to have it on a video. But if you guys have ever, ever questions for future stories about ones you specifically want to hear, I would love to hear it. I mean, I, I would find it very uh, interesting to see what you guys want me to tell you guys about. But anyway, guys, that's going to end it for the story time. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss a stream or video. And make sure you follow me on Twitter so we can chat and whatnot. And make sure you stay cool, everybody. And I will see you all next time.